Welcome back to Learn JavaScript on Code Academy. We're in the loop section. This is lesson five, four loops inside of four loops. And it says, let's say that you and a friend would like to go on vacation together. You've both made arrays of your favorite places and you want to compare to see if any places match. This is a job for loops. The big idea is that we can run a for loop inside another for loop to compare the items in two arrays. Every time the outer for loop runs once, the inner for loop will run completely. With two for loops, we can check to see if any of your vacation spots match your friend's spots. Instructions. One, we're going to write this program from scratch. Start out by writing a variable named my places and set it equal to an array with three places you'd like to visit. So we can do var my places and we'll set it equal to three places we want to visit. I can say, you know, Tokyo, Mexico, and I don't know, Europe just random places so let's run this second it says now make another variable named friend places and set it equal to an array with three places a friend might like to go make sure that at least one of these places is the same as in your my places array so we go here and we're going to create var friend places set it equal to an array with three places and of course i got to put tokyo because that's where i really want to go and then we can put Argentina and Brazil. Put that there. So now we can run this. Three, write a for loop that iterates through each item in my places and logs out each place. So next, we gotta do a for loop that iterates through each item in my place. So var i is equal to zero. Then we do i less than my places dot length as long as this is true we want to increment i and we want to log out each place so console log my places i so this should start at zero my places zero would console log tokyo then it would increment to one which is still less than my places dot length which would console log mexico and then go again and console log europe and then stop so that should be instruction three. Okay, so instruction four says you logged all of your places. Now inside of the existing for loops block, write another for loop that loops over friends places. This time instead of using i as the variable name, use j. So we don't overwrite any variables. So we go here and we also create a for loop. This time with a var j, initializing it also to zero. And we say as, as long as j is less than friend places dot length we want to increment j so also we want to console log friend places start at zero and go through all of friend places let's run this and now as we can see it is iterating through all of them step six says the purpose of the program is to see what you and your friend have in common let's utilize the triple equal comparison with an if else statement Inside the second for loops block, write an if else statement that checks if my places i is equal to friend places j. If it is, log to the console the place you have in common. So inside of this for loop, we're going to say if my places i triple equals friend places j, then we want it to console dot log friend places J, the one that we are at currently. We could actually probably erase these to not make it look so ugly. So let's see what this does. This should be what they're asking for. And it does console log Tokyo, which is the place we have in common. So this is a for loop inside of a for loop, which goes through both lists. Inside our second for loop, we check if whichever iteration we are in currently in I is equal to the current iteration we're currently in j and if they are the same then we log that similar place and that's why we get tokyo which is in both lists so that is four loops inside of four loops on codecademy's learn javascript section